There's only one team. There's only one team that's going to get to end their season on a win. So every locker room will be like this uh, other than the champions. And uh, obviously we didn't get to experience the goal of getting to the NCAA tournament. And I feel bad for you for that because we never quit as a team. We never quit as a team. There are a lot of games that looked like we're over. We came back and won the game. We've had a chance to win. I think this team will be remembered for that, especially from our home fans. Dedication to a university, to a program, to a team. It's something that drives all student athletes, their coaches, and their fans. No matter the result, when the final buzzer sounds, you know you fought for something. For Oakland University's men's basketball team heading into their second season as members of the Horizon League and 31st under head coach Greg Campy, dedication is as simple as the logo painted on the Arena center court. For me, Oakland is a special place because I, I, play, I came here to play basketball, but it's not all, always about basketball. It's about a family, you know, being, being one, one team with, with all of us, with the coaches, with the university. Um, if we all identify with one thing, you know, it's just like being one, one community. I like our team. We're very young. Uh, we have three freshmen and a sophomore in our top eight. And, uh, but I think we're talented. I would say our offense, like we're more balanced this year. We don't just have like just one or two guys we're looking for. Uh, everybody can score the ball, you know, Max can shoot. Nick just got back off of injury, so he's helping us. Jalen Hayes helping us. And then the new phase is helping us too. You know, Corey's still doing Corey, which is pretty easy for him, it looks like. Can we get there this year? I don't know, but I like our chances. The Golden Grizzlies have always had a dedication to defending their home court. And as a curtain was raised on the 2014-2015 season, Oakland welcomed Western Michigan University to Rochester for their home opener, where the Arena faithful gathered to see how Team 48 story would begin. Long arms, very capable rebounder. Kick out Tommy McCune for three, and Tommy McCune sticks the triple. Tosevich again. He'll send it over to Heyman for three, and he buries it. If my man ain't really hit, I'm going to have even more right. on that elbow. Right. Long three-point shot on the way is good on Lester. Behind the back, and Kay Felder took it away. Kay on the drive through the paint, lays it up and in. McCormick with a long three, and he buries it. Good kick. Wilder sends it to McCormick again for three. We said in the locker room we're going to switch the cross screen. We got to switch the cross screen, okay? Illusion B cuts, lays it up and in. We talked about the cross screen at halftime. We talked about it in timeouts, and they went and ran it. And what happened? They got an and one. We got to stick with the commitment, and we got to get better. It's not going to happen in one night. Okay. While the Golden Grizzlies couldn't steal a win from the Broncos in their home opener, one thing was abundantly clear. There were a lot of new faces, both on the floor and on the bench. Femi came a long way since he first got here. You know, he really surprised all of us, to be honest. You know, Nick just got off two years of injuries, and he's done an excellent job, more than probably best we have, I could ever imagine, or, you know. And um, especially Jalen, too, he's doing a great job rebounding, helping on defense, you know, scoring inside, inside out. So all those three guys really have stepped in and done more than we expected them to do. Regardless of how they arrived at Oakland's campus, the challenge for the newest members of Greg Campy's team is the same. Find inspiration in the dedication they see in their veteran leaders. You know, there's just mistakes that we make on the floor that are youth, youthful mistakes. And again, I go to Dante and, and Corey, you know, have got to put their arm around somebody and say, we can't do that. You know, we can't take a possession off. We can't just flip a pass over here. One turnover, one run out can lead to a run that can lose, could cause you to lose. As Corey said, okay, how many persons did I can shoot in a day? Let's not take a video. <laughs> <laughs>
What happens when you don't hire the right property management firm? Well, you start doing all the work yourself, which burns you out, which makes you sleepy. So you fall asleep at your son's baseball game, making you completely unaware of the fact that you should duck right about now. So now your head hurts, your son is embarrassed, and you're on your way to the hospital to swap your baseball cap and hot dog for a drafty gown and green jello. Don't end up in a drafty gown eating green jello. Aspect Properties, residential, commercial, property management. Aspectproperties.com. Visit Oakland University Credit Union today. With convenient locations in Auburn Hills and on OU's campus, our members enjoy great low rates, superior member service, and many free or low-cost products and services. Banking is fast, easy, and convenient with e-deposit, mobile and online banking, and 24-hour ATMs. Stop in to one of our local branches or visit OUCreditUnion.org to open an account today. For the last 10 years, Unisor Surgery Center has been a pioneer at the forefront of outpatient surgical care. Led by a gracious staff of board-certified physicians and experienced nurses, Unisor promises a comfortable setting with personalized care and attention for every patient. The patient satisfaction scores speak for themselves. This place really walks the walk of making the patients our first priority. At Unisor Surgery Center, the goal is to exceed your expectations and get you back in the game sooner. Players come and go in college athletics, but this year that unwritten rule was exceptionally tough as the time came for one of Oakland's all-time greats to move on. While there are still some familiar faces on the Oakland roster this season, there remain some questions about how Oakland's new senior class will rise to the challenge of life without Bader. The 2013-2014 campaign saw Travis Bader etch both his name and Oakland University's in the record books. The sharpshooter broke both the all-time NCAA three-pointers made and most three-point field goals attempted career records. You don't really replace that kind of player, but you can get better, and you get better as a team. Um, you get uh, a group of guys that just fit well together, and I, and I think this team doesn't fit yet because we're so young, but I think the capability is there. Me and Max, one of our other players, he's a great shooter. We, uh, we worked out a lot together in the summer and, and we shoot almost every day, you know, during the season. So doing that and Dante, Dante works out with us too. So us three getting the gym a lot and just trying to fill that gap that, that Bader left. Filling the Bader gap this season won't be easy, either on the floor or in the locker room. Three. One, two, three. Three. But the determination and leadership learned by Oakland's veterans is already clear early in this new season starting with the Golden Grizzlies' big man in the post. For senior Corey Petros, Oakland University has always been home. I chose Oakland really it's, you know, for a couple of reasons. You know, I love the coaching staff. Um, it was close to home, so my parents could come to all the games, and I felt it was the right fit for me. With the departure of some of Oakland's all-time greats, the 6-foot, 10-inch center had to stand a few inches taller heading into the 2014-2015 season. It's really exciting. You know, I've sat here you know, behind great leaders in front of me, you know, Reggie, Keto, Will, Larry, uh, Travis, Drew, all those people who were great leaders, and I just kind of followed their footsteps. And uh, being here and just being the senior with, those, with Dante and Ralph is exciting and a, really a dream come true for me. And then I know that me being an example and a light to everyone else that's underclassmen is going to lead them to hopefully follow the path because we have you know, a saying, stay on the path. We stay doing the right things that the coaches says. We stay in class. We do the right things off, often on the court. And I try to do that so that they just follow my example. I try to lead by example. And lead by example he has both on and off the hardwood. Petros has furthered Oakland University's mission to produce graduates and champions by pursuing a master's degree in business. We start to put something we know of, right? So this is the kind of trajectory, past history, as Corey said, okay, how many percentage I can shoot in the morning? Stop I wanted to go into finance in college. I knew Oakland was a good business school. And taking some uh, finance classes here, I knew 100% that's what I wanted to do. And it's just really interested in me. And I redshirted, so I was able to graduate early with all the summer classes we take and everything, and then come into the MBA program and get that done by the time I'm out of here, which is nice. 
Petros's collegiate record and athletic achievements coupled with his academic accomplishments is a testament to the qualities that have made him one of the best post players in the Horizon League and most recently earned him another honor. Nominated for the 2015 National Association of Basketball Coaches All-State Good Works team. The coaching staff did a great job to really make us, the, they, we come in and they say that we're going to become the best players that we can be and they're going to do their best jobs that they can and they, I really feel and believe in my heart that they do because I feel like I'm the best player I can be right now and you know all the accolades and everything goes to them and the teammates I play with that help me become a better player and just everything else falls into place from that. We really beat our chest on things like this and this is one that you know for Corey is, is a similar type of award. This is, this is you're just not a good player, you're a hell of a person and those are the kind of awards that we like winning. With the culmination of his final season as a Golden Grizzly drawing near, Petros has made the most out of his time at Oakland and embodied what it means to be the Bear. You know, we're blessed to be here in this great university, so we want to do the best we can to represent Oakland and uh, have good character. While Petros's fellow seniors Dante Williams and Ralph Hill will look to fill the void of Bader's 4.5 three-pointers made per game average, the men aren't the only ones who said goodbye to a team leader. Bethany was obviously a great player in injuries. Um, it's, it's scary to think what she could have accomplished without the injuries she had. And she was someone that you knew every single night was going to give you 12 to 15 points a game. And now we've got a group of players that can do that. And it doesn't have to be the same person every night. I know it's kind of a coaching cliche, but um, we really do have four, five, six, seven people that on any given night can lead us to scoring, lead us in rebounding and things like that. But, you know, to this point, um, you know, Peyton Apsey's probably been our most consistent player. She's really, really improved from a year ago. Um, you know, Olivia Nash has had a great start to the season so far. Elena Popke was preseason second team all league. Um, you know, I, I think those three, um, you know, really are, are going to have great, great seasons for us. The Golden Grizzlies women are also looking to make strides in the Horizon League in 2014-2015. Already posting home wins against Chicago State and Miami University. You know, the thing I've been impressed with our team the most is our defense. You know, we've done a really good job defensively this year. Um, you know, we're, we're giving up 35% field goal percentage defense. We're much farther along at this point of the year on defense than we were a year ago, which is a great, a great thing. And then, you know, I think the offense will come and the point production will come as soon as people, you know, get more comfortable with their roles. And so we need to invest in this kind of an infrastructure to allow us to continue to have those kind of tournaments and, and provide that kind of experience for not only ourselves, but our visitors. Honey, what are you doing? I thought you were getting your hair cut at Great Clips. I am. Already checked in. How? Their sweet online check-in app. Why wait around there for a haircut when I can work on my bod here? Mm-hmm. I got a few more minutes. And pump it and squeeze it. Ooh, smile at me. Introducing the online check-in app from Great Clips. No more waiting around because now we'll be waiting for you. Great Clips, it's going to be great. What happens when you don't hire the right property management firm? Well, you start doing all the work yourself, which burns you out, which makes you sleepy. So you fall asleep at your son's baseball game, making you completely unaware of the fact that you should duck right about now. So now your head hurts, your son is embarrassed, and you're on your way to the hospital to swap your baseball cap and hot dog for a drafty gown and green jello. Don't end up in a drafty gown eating green jello. Aspect Properties, residential, commercial, property management. AspectProperties.com. What's so different about shopping at Meyer? Well, there's 80 years of family commitment to better, fresher foods, an amazing selection of products and brands, knowing that shopping for your family costs less at Meyer, and a whole different kind of experience that generations of shoppers will swear begins the moment you step inside the door. Come see for yourself. As important as dedication to your university, program, and team is, often it is how you show that pride that really counts. Attend any home game at any Oakland University athletic event, and you'll see the bear. But you can't see the bear if the throngs of Golden Grizzly student athletes, coaches, and fans don't wear the bear. 
so that instantly recognizable mark of school spirit has become a driving force throughout Oakland's athletic department, starting with their new man at the helm. After a lengthy search, Oakland University finally found their new director of athletics this past July. Jeff Konya may have come from the West Coast due to his previous appointment as the athletic director of California State University Bakersfield, but taking the position at Oakland was actually a homecoming for the native Michigander. Being from the area originally and having visited Oakland through the years um, in my travels, um, I knew there was a great foundation here for success. There's a great history of athletic success. You know, and I, I really like mid-major athletics. And so when you combine all those elements in Oakland County with a strong brand um, in the Horizon League now, uh, which is one of the best mid-major conferences, you know, the, all the elements are there, the ingredients are there to really do some special things. The wait and see approach is definitely not Konya's style. Widely respected as an innovator in athletics marketing, he wasted no time meeting with the Golden Grizzlies community in an effort to start enhancing the university's overall brand. Because I do think recently with the Wear the Bear campaign, the See the Bear, Be the Bear, Wear the Bear campaign, and how we've been able to use that in social media and how we've been able to you know, use the hashtag and, and be really unique about the penetration in the social networking market. The rest of the university, I think, can capitalize uh, on, a, on a different scale with that. What that led to was a plan that took advantage of Oakland University's unique brand and put Grizz at the forefront of a rebranding campaign. Golden Grizzlies is unique to the athletic marketplace, especially in Division I. And so we wanted to rebrand our athletics website with goldengrizzlies.com and make that the platform for Twitter and um, Instagram and Facebook and all the other social networking uh, opportunities that we had and make sure that it was seamless. The most notable change at Oakland has been a catchy tagline that instantly captures that Golden Grizzly pride. Each of those elements are important to see the bear, be the bear, and wear the bear. See the bear means it, our visible, you know, our reach of our brand, the TV relationships, um, you know, where we are in Metro Detroit. And then to be the bear is to get involved and to get involved with the university, get involved with the athletic department, uh, and feel comfortable in those relationships. And wear the bear is just that source of pride, you know, that. Uh, when we wear the bear, we are part of something bigger than ourselves and something that we take pride in. So let's bring it all together and, and come under the banner of Wear the Bear. Jeff Konya, our new athletic director, um, you know, he's a marketing guru. And um, this idea, I really like it. And then I used to have a hashtag, not a hashtag, but where it said, you know, I'd put Go Grizz or something like that. Now I'm writing Wear the Bear. He's got me on it too. Wear the Bear, man. And, you know, we're, we're using that. We're using that tagline, and it is, I think it's pretty catchy. For Konya, it's a job that is more than balancing budgets and creating new hashtags. Because I was a former student athlete, and as our youth and student athletes, as parents entrust their most precious, you know, thing in their, their life, their sons and daughters, to us, we have to take ownership of our opportunity to impact positively someone's growth and maturation. The talks on the bus or in the locker room or the casual conversations in the hallway or going out to coffee, that's what it means to be a Golden Grizzly. To be sure, wearing the bear has not been limited to the hardwood in 2014. Oakland's men's soccer team secured a Horizon League championship trophy in November with a win over Wright State advancing to the second round of the NCAA tournament after dominating Kentucky 2-0. Then there's a women's volleyball team who know the arena floor well and captured their own Horizon League title this season, on the way to a berth in the NCAA volleyball tournament for the first time in the program's history. Unisource Surgery Center in Troy, Michigan has been your best surgical choice in outpatient care for over 10 years. Through the use of innovative, highly renowned surgical and anesthesia techniques, our medical staff is dedicated to ensuring that you receive quality care and a comfortable recovery. The attention that patients receive here is unbelievable. Our caring and attentive staff has been voted the best in patient satisfaction for the last six years because at Unisource Surgery Center, we truly are centered on you. Visit Oakland University Credit Union today. With convenient locations in Auburn Hills and on OU's campus, our members enjoy great low rates, superior member service, and many free or low-cost products and services. 
Banking is fast, easy, and convenient with e-deposit, mobile and online banking, and 24-hour ATMs. Stop in to one of our local branches or visit OUCreditUnion.org to open an account today. Doctors Joe Gettler, James Bicos, and Pete Biglin are proud to be the team physicians for the Oakland University Golden Grizzlies. Their office, Performance Orthopedics, is a Beaumont-affiliated sports medicine practice offering comprehensive care for athletes and active individuals of all ages. We offer state-of-the-art arthroscopic and reconstructive procedures, as well as an array of conservative rehabilitative options. At Performance Orthopedics, it's about getting you back in your game, whatever your game may be. What's so different about shopping at Meyer? Well, there's 80 years of family commitment to better, fresher foods, an amazing selection of products and brands, knowing that shopping for your family costs less at Meyer, and a whole different kind of experience that generations of shoppers will swear begins the moment you step inside the door. Come see for yourself. One welcome change to the early Oakland men's basketball season has been a homestand. Often used to a brutal road schedule in the beginning month of the regular season, the Golden Grizzlies got to experience life at home in late November, giving thanks for a string of games at the arena as host for the mid-major portion of the CBE Hall of Fame Classic. Yeah, it's different. It's definitely different because every year we always gone all November, then home most December. But um, I, I like it. I like the change. You know, I know that you know now December we're going to be on the road the whole time. So it's going to be nice going into all those big stadiums that right before conference, so we'll, we'll have that tough competition going right into conference. But it's nice being home all November, having all our fans come out and they support us, and it was just a good atmosphere and it was fun. I love the arena, Grizz game. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. I love every home game. Like the fans has been there, even when we're down 20, they still there cheering us on because it never knows what might happen. But yeah, the arena is something special. Just being here, being in our home fan base, you know, people know us here, you know, it makes us, the, the freshmen especially, more comfortable playing. And uh, I think that's a, a big step for them, just to be able to get playing here. You know, we practice here, so, you know, them just being able to play in our home court is very, you know, is big for them. I think it'll help the freshmen um, when we get there. They know that when the ball tip, when the ball's thrown up and you jump tip, it's a 40-minute game, whether it's home or at Michigan State or Arizona, wherever we're going. Um, I think just getting there, getting them a little bit of experience here at home first before they go on the road will definitely help them in the long run. Despite dropping a double overtime thriller to Western Carolina, Oakland looked to rebound against the Chicago State Cougars in the second of three consecutive games as fall temps gave way to some early winter snow. Off the inbound, they send it on the block to Corey. Drives around, drops it off. Two-handed jam. Williams on the drive with a miss, a miss. Ten left to play. Demacos for three, and he got it. Here comes Kay Felder on the drive on the flash. Drops it off. Corey Petros up and in. And here comes Kate Felder on the break to the rim. Lays it up and in with a left hand. We've got to get the basketball and get a good shot. Every possession. Use the clock. Dante Williams catches, fires for three, and he got it. Aaron Williams has it, dumps it off down low, two-handed flush. Kate Felder looking inbound, finds Corey Petros turn and hook. Tate breaks the pressure, he'll drive, hand it off, Corey Petros! Left side drive, oh, what a rejection by Kay Felder! Two and 35, they can't get a shot. Goes around Kay Felder, another rejection! You know what you did? You played with energy. You didn't jog around. You didn't look like a deer in the headlines. We got some loose balls tonight on the ground. That's being committed and that's going this way. While the Golden Grizzlies couldn't manage that same magic against Georgia State on the last night of the Classic, 
The rest earned staying off the road help as Oakland beat Toledo on the arena court later in that same week, 81-79. You know, we have some games that we were that close, we were right there, but we just didn't know how to finish and win. You know, but I think at Toledo, we, we learned how to do that. Being up 15 and them coming back and being only down one and to actually coming out, getting a stop to win the game and not just to go to overtime and things like that. So I think that really helped us and, you know, we're learning how to win. So I think that's a big step for us. It's going to be a good team, you know. We're going to see some changes. We're going to have some growth and it's going on the road in all December. So it's going to be exciting, it's going to be fun. It just needs to be about constant improvement for whether younger or more experienced players. We just need to be able to constantly improve. And when we watch film, you know, learn from our mistakes from the previous games, we've got to be conscientious of uh, applying the things that we've seen and trying not to uh, have mistakes be re uh, duplicated and just trying to, if it happened once, then we learn, we eliminate it and move forward and onto something new. Well, as a coach, you always enjoy when you have good players. Um, and it's a maturation process. If we can have that type of learning experience this year, where we can sear this team together, um, then sure, uh, you enjoy that. We always enjoy winning. And you enjoy, it. as a coach, you enjoy the process. Probably more than anything, you enjoy the process of seeing the baby bear become the big bear, you know. As Oakland looks ahead to the start of Horizon League play, including the inaugural Metro Series showdown against Detroit in the new year, one thing is for sure, no matter what the ultimate outcome on the court is, this is a team, program, and university that will see the bear, be the bear, and wear the bear. And always, always fight for Oakland. Catch Oakland basketball at the arena as the men's and women's teams begin Horizon League play. For tickets to all Oakland basketball games, call 248 370-4000 or visit goldengrizzlies.com.